Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Fool Guys. And this one could well be the last one of the season, so I'm doing something special. We're gonna show a win with every costume that the season pass has given us. Apart from the the patty bag, which I totally forgot to do. Sorry about that, but everything is recorded now. So this season has been incredible, it's been really good. It's been a big change for the game, going free to play but it has brought along with it some incredible amounts of players and some great games. I've earned a hell of a lot of crowns in this season, progressing my way through the crown rank, completing the season pass. That's the first of the costumes, Ezio. I think that's how you pronounce it, I've actually never played <laughs> any Assassin's Creed, sorry. So here we kick it off with the, uh, the punk band costume. I say costume, it's just a top half, and even then it's just just some wristbands. And I've combined that with the red and blue, you know, the classic half and half, to take a win on the jump blowdown showdown with the fan. Now we go through the dragon costume. You should know this one very well, so well in fact, that uh, our dragon dance challenge that me and my friends Pink and Danny did has even now been <laughs> copied, maybe inadvertently. Uh, by Caboose. But I think we did better, honestly. Have you seen the two of them? I mean, we actually did get some wins. So there we go. Now onto the Dragon Tail. Tell a few Dragon Tails for the Dragon Tail. Against a Red Knight. To take the win! There's a, a lot of roll-off in this video, because I played a lot of Survival of the Fittest. But it's kind of nice keeping it across the board with the Dragon one. We just have Roll off, roll off, roll off for each part of the dragon. And there's the win for the head. Excellent. What costume's up next in that season pass? Let's have a look. On Jump Show down here, we've got a little combo. We've got the safety helmet. And we've got the little frog pouch. I, I actually... So, I've seen a lot of people moaning that, that if you play squads and you see someone on your team with the safety helmet, that they're gonna suck, that they're gonna be terrible that they're a noob, whatever. I actually kind of like the helmet, and there'll be a little bonus in the video, another win with that one coming up. It's, it's cool! Alright, here's a throwback to uh, when the season just began, and I unlocked this little marble man. Not the actual crown rank marvelous, but uh, that shows what Hexaring was like at the beginning. Remember how quick it was? It was chaotic, it was really fun, but I do like this costume a lot, it's awesome. And of course we get the, the sussy Amogus, the orange cheese boy himself. A few little swift grab -a to take that victory. Quite a lot of jump showdowns on this as well. Editing this together made me realise that uh, I've not had very many full mountains this season, which makes me sad. But anyway, on with the costumes. I should probably be giving them a little rating as I go along. Here's the flowers. I like the flowers, they're cute. Nice win on Lily Leapers there. I'd give the flowers a good 7 out of 10. A, a fun costume, but uh, it doesn't really go with much else. Okay, here we've got the, the penguin head, and for some reason I mixed this with the pigeon bottom at the time. The colours are kind of similar, are they? It's a bird, right? So that's what you get. Yeah. But there's a, there's a few costumes on this season pass that are either just a top half or just a bottom half, which I don't think has been done before. This is your red glasses, and I was also wearing a little, little safety rubber ring during that lost temple. I didn't do a uh, kudo shop wins in this video. It's just season pass stuff and a few extras at the end for you to see. Here's the uh, the glove. <laughs> Does it have? What's the name? It's just like a pointing glove, you know, that you'd get in a crowd at an event. I really like that costume. It's fun. Uh, I don't think many people wear it recently. Loads of people wore it a few weeks ago, but yeah, I've not seen one for a while, actually. Here's the uh, ice cream penguin hat thing. Pretty cool one. Again, not seeing many people wear that. For some reason, it's it's cool. I like it. Definitely uh, ripe for some ideal combinations. Now here's another combo one. This is actually the backpack from an event, I think, and then the Lily Leaper frog shoes, which are really cute. And you might remember me wearing those shoes in the Hardest Challenge video when we unlocked the uh, Idle Games guy. 
Here's the sumo wrestler. This costume actually creeps me out, so I'm only gonna give it like a 4 out of 10. It just, there's something really scary about it. It's like a blow-up doll, but it's also grey. It's just frightening. Look at it. Ugh, it's so gross. That's the only time I ever used it. Okay, so this is the, the swash, the swasher? Swashbuckler? The sword. Lower half. Um, it's just a low half costume. That's right. But finally, we get a different final. It's a hexagon. And as you can see, I'm actually wearing the satellite gloves in this one. So it's a fun little gold item combo. And a fun little win. We didn't even get near the slime. Supreme victory. I like that wave pattern as well. That's cool. But that didn't come this season. Okay, we've got another roll off. And this red knight might be my favorite costume of this season. But can I actually win against a helmet user in it? This guy? Genuinely good. He was doing really well here. But sadly, I think he just, just slipped a little bit. J just tripped over slightly and fell into the slime. But yeah, love that costume. I'm gonna give that a solid 9 out of 10. Really nice. This is a, a um, stomping ground final. Which uh, didn't occur until this season. With Survival of the Fittest. And that's a win with the donut bag. Which is pretty cool. I quite like the donut bag. I'll give that a... Give that an 8 out of 10. I think the best backpack that came out. And this is the last of the costumes in the season pass. Level 100 to uh, get this whole thing. So why not battle another Mecha Godzilla? I uh, did give him a little grab for that win. And this also looks cool with the copper eyes and faceplate. Okay, so here's a few ones that aren't from the season pass, but uh, all the, the people that played before free to play would get these. Little legacy costumes. This is the veggie dog. And a tiny little grab. Just a tiny one to solidify that win. Very cool costume, this. I think it's the, my least favourite of the hot dogs, but uh, it's still fun. This, I can't remember the name, but it looks a bit like a pimp with a crown. Looks a bit like Technoblade, who will be missed greatly. But a really cool costume, and it works so well with purple. I love this one. It's just very cool. Look at that. Awesome with the purple. And this is the uh, the Viking. Not entirely sure what this guy is called, but you know. You know the one. Yeah. And <laughs> we managed to just push another guy into the slime. Just in time. I've said slime and time a lot of times in the last few weeks for other episodes of this. And here is the events, the event items that we could get this season. This is the little star bag, which came from the, is it the Stadium Stars event? And I almost lost that one. I did some kind of weird flip, but uh, managed to survive. The other guy fell in. Ouch. Rest in peace to that dude. This is the uh, Halo event head, combined with some little dazzling dance orb shoes, I think to make a very cool and fashionable costume. Remember when everyone was wearing this? Yeah. That was a fun time, wasn't it? A pretty enjoyable event, and not too hard. And this is that Idle Games costume, which everyone tried so hard to get this season. Definitely in my mind the hardest costume to get of the entire season. And there's a nice little blast ball win against Grandis, who may be appearing later in the episode. This was from the Yeet event. You got the hammer that you could wear on your back. Don't really know what this person was doing. They just kept trying to grab me way too early and... I don't think they were even looking at the spinning pole. <laughs> so they just lost. Which was interesting, but hey, thanks for the win. Uh, other bean. There's a bunch of people still in this clip. Look at this. Still three other beans. But anyway, this is uh, stuff you can get from the Sonic event. So it's the Sonic shoes and the... Sonic Rings pattern. And just like that, somehow that was a win. <laughs> Everyone just kind of disappeared really quickly at the end of that roll-off. That doesn't actually happen very often, but when it does, always welcome. Here's the gold gauntlets by themselves. Just on a pink bean for this one. Just flexing those gold gloves. Now this was an event that I actually thought was really fun and fairly easy. But uh, looking around at what people have said, a lot of people found the Gauntlet satellite missions really hard. Uh, so that surprised me a bit. Oh, and there's a funky nameplate there as well. Okay, 
going onwards with some of the DLC, some of the little season packs. These, again, are all just bonuses, just to make the video a bit longer and to show you some other fun wins. So these ones aren't ones that came in the season pass, you did have to purchase these separately. But they're kind of cool, and I ended up buying a few of them, so I thought I'd show them off as well. These are the, the sushi things. I can't remember the name of them, but this is the second one anyway. So I'm against an Idle Games winner. Will they be amazing? I mean, after all, it's me and them in the, uh, the final two spots here on jump. Sorry, roll off, roll off. But they slipped in. Oh dear. Better luck next time, bean buddy. I know you'll get it. You've already got a few wins, obviously. Quite a clean costume, this one. This was me trying a new strategy. This was with those, uh, little wrestler costumes. I mainly got these for the show box. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. And, um, just a, just a very cheeky grab to win that. That's how my jump showdowns go. Sorry <laughs> if I grab you. It, it, I mean, it's happened to me enough times. So, it'll happen to you too. This is the TV that comes with the same pack. This is one of the weirdest costumes, I think, in the game, possibly. I don't know how I feel about this one. It, it also makes me feel weirdly uncomfortable <laughs> for some reason. And that was a really good hexagon. I was three levels up. Not a doubt in my mind. And this is the last costume of that pack. And finally, a full mountain. I've only had like five full mountains the entire season, I think. Which is just not enough. I need more. Full mountain is one of my favorite finals. I mean, it's really quick, which helps. But it's just very enjoyable, especially when it doesn't show up once. I mean, not often. But there was one level that isn't in this video at all. For some reason, Thin Ice just isn't here. <laughs> Whenever I played with any of these costumes, it wasn't on Thin Ice. I got it loads in squads, but for some reason it very rarely came up in Solo. But that's a really cool costume. I like that one. And of course, we all got given Grandest this season. That's a little apology from the <laughs> Mediatonic for um, something. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, Grandest goes absolutely ham in this clip. And then the bar does. <laughs> and I just get a very nice practically free win. The power of Grandis, everybody. Subscribe for more Grandis. Or, or don't. Do we ever want to see him again? Who knows. Here's a nice little Lost Temple and a last round for this video. Just wanted to show that not every player wearing a helmet is bad. <laughs> and it kind of goes well with uh, the red and black colour that we got this season as well, doesn't it? I got stuck on the door there, look! Terrible. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video and this season. I'm so hyped for the next season, which will be coming very soon, as will the videos, and possibly some streams. I do stream on Twitch. The link is on my channel, if you want to follow that in advance, and uh, or Twitter as well. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.